Welcome to Math Window. Solve this equation about x. 3x plus 1 then times 7x then plus 1 equals 17. Oh, it is so hard, isn't it? Maybe I'm gonna say, if I take a glimpse at this question, I'll have headache, I'll have stomachache. However, I'm gonna answer you, don't be sick. And I have a really, really wonderful trick. What is it? Here comes the trick. Look. 3x plus 1, 7x plus 1, two factors. Ah, expanding? No, 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 no. Please do not. Please do not. If you are going to expand them, then I would be mad. How can you continue solving it after expanding? Of course. Very, very hard. By using this trick, you can solve this question within three minutes. Or even one minute. So let's go! Don't be so curious! This trick comes. Usually, we hope that the coefficients of x of each of the factors are equal. However, in this case, you know this question. The coefficients of x of each of the factors are not equal. They are 3 and 7. 3 do not equal to 7. So now, what should we do? Of course, we can do a small changement and we can let the coefficients be equal. 3, 7, they're comprime. So what can we do? Of course, we can multiply the both-hand sides by a number. The question is, what is this number? What is this number? We don't know. Of course, we will know by inspection. 3 and 7. Hmm. We're going to make the coefficients of x equal. So, we can multiply this factor by 7 and this factor by 3. Why? Since 3 and 7 are comprime. Here times 7, here times 3. Of course, what should we do? Multiply the right hand side by 21, since 3 times 7 is 21. So easy! So, which number is it? Of course, 21. We've multiplied the both sides by 21, and here 7, here 3. Now, 3x plus 1 times 7 in the bracket is going to be 21x plus 7. Here, 3 times 7, it is also 21. 21x plus 3 is equal to 17, then times 21. 21x plus 7, 21x plus 3, our goal has been reached. The coefficients are the same. They have the same value. Now, of course, what can we do and what shall we do? 7, 3 are these two numbers. And on the right hand side, it is a huge number, 17 times 21. Maybe we're going to calculate it or evaluate it. However, I'm going to tell you, do not do anything on the right hand side. Because it's going to be very, very wonderful. Let's focus on the left hand side. 21x plus 7, 21x plus 3, 7, 3. Eerily, for this kind of equations, we have to find the mean of 7 and 3. The number which in average is 5. The mean of 7, 3 is 5. So, 
21x then plus 7 it can be written as 21x plus 5 and then plus 2 and then times this 7 can be written as plus 5 minus 2 so here you can see that 21x plus 5 in both of the brackets and here plus 2 here minus 2 so what can we use? Of course, we can use a formula, of course, later. And the right-hand side as well. The mean of 17 and 21 is 19. So 17 can be written as 19 minus 2 and 21, 19 plus 2. So nice, isn't it? We can use this formula, this wonderful formula. a plus b then times a minus b it is equal to a squared minus b squared the third binomial formula use it and then you can find out that 21x plus 5 is the a 2 is the b for left hand side and for right hand side a is 19 b is also 2 so here, of course, the left hand side will be, it's going to become 21x plus 5 all squared minus 2 squared, a squared minus b squared. Our right hand side is going to be 19 squared minus 2 squared. We have found out that, we have noticed that, minus 2 squared, minus 2 squared, so cancel. So now, cancel, then what can we get? It is so surprising. 21x, oh my pen, a surprising equation with a bad pen, I'm mad. This pen drives me mad. So, since minus 4 and minus 2 squared are cancelled, so the left hand side is only this thing. 21x plus 5 all squared. And the right hand side is 19 squared. And you can find out that, you can find out that squared squared. So, it's a nice equation, isn't it? What can we do about it? Of course, we can do many things about it. How many cases do we have? Two cases or more cases? Of course, two. We have two cases. Two cases, the first case is coming. For our first case, Twenty one x plus five equals nineteen. Then the value of x can be evaluated simply, easily, and successfully. X is equal to nineteen minus five is fourteen, fourteen divided by twenty one. So that's two thirds. For a second case. 21x plus 5, it is negative 19. Then, x is of course negative. Negative 19 minus 5, it is negative 24. Then, negative 24 over 21, it's going to be negative 8 over 7. Two answers, x1, x2. x1 is equal to two-thirds. X2, it is negative eight-sevenths. Do you got the answers? Do you got the trick? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye! This pin drove me mad.